All right, so I'm back on YouTube. I took a few weeks off. I uh, had a lot of stuff going on, so didn't have time to make any videos, but we are back with paradiddles all around the drum kit, bass drum, uh, snare drum, hi-hat with the left foot, right hand on the ride cymbal, doing all that wonderful, fun stuff again, bringing it back, limb independence, and this time, we kick it up a notch. We kick it up about 10 notches, really, because this time, we're doing the paradiddle as an eighth note triplet. That's right. That's right. Think about it. Think about it for a second. A paradiddle, which is eight beats being played as a triplet. What does that mean? What that means is that it doesn't line up right. It lines up every three times you play that paradiddle. It's going to line up and hit uh, as one time. Before, uh, before we move on with that, I was thinking about this on the way here, and I always wanted to make one of these videos. I always thought it was pretty goofy on, uh, you know, Saved by the Bell, when Zack Attack would come around, and they had a band called Zack Attack. And the weird thing about it uh, was that, well, A, the band was only in like one or two episodes, and they never mentioned it again. Uh, but, but, but B, none of the actors seemed like they played any instruments. And so... You know, they would do their best, but it always was stupid. And I played music from pretty early on, so I could always tell that it didn't line up and they weren't really doing anything. And a lot of the time, Slater wasn't even hitting uh, the cymbals. And if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, if you haven't watched Saved by the Bell, it looked a lot like this. And at least, uh, you know, I picked kind of a, a silly pop tune, but man, uh, the Zack Attack song, Friends Forever, not a very good song. Um, if it had been up to me, it would have been a little bit more like this. Still didn't match up, but at least I picked a good song, right? If you're going to pick actors that can't play, at least the music shouldn't suck. Um, but anyway, back to the paradiddle, back to the triplet. All this stuff is going on at once. Um, so basically, we have eighth notes going on between your right hand and your left foot, right? Uh, so one and two and three and four and... Uh, you can't see it, but I'm tapping my left foot on the ground. Um, so if that's an eighth note... All right, so let's count it just one and two and three and four and. But I'm going to sing a triplet. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. So now we've got to put those two things together. Eighth notes and triplets, it's a three over a two or it's a two over a three, however you want to count it, I don't know. Uh, I, they're both right. Um, let's not get too technical here, but it's, it's a tough, tough, proggy, like, limb independence awesome fun thing um, but try counting at first so you can get the get the idea of the beats right so we're going to start with the uh with the eighth note one and two and three then triplet one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh. So you notice that every time you do the triplet and one and a uh, two and a uh, that one um be it a bass drum or a snare drum, your left foot's gonna come down with the eighth note, the straight ahead eighth note hand, immediately after that. One thing that makes this one super proggy and fun and crazy is that uh, the, uh, the paradiddle does not match up exactly with a measure or two of them, or you, know, you can't divide it up into a very even number. It's actually uh, six times through the paradiddle equals two measures. So it's kind of a really funky, weird counting thing. Um, I think it's a lot of fun, so pay a lot of attention. Um, if you're having trouble with this at first, getting the paradiddle 
part with the uh, with the straight ahead eighth note. Maybe do a simpler one. Just do a bass snare, bass snare, bass snare, bass snare, bass snare, bass snare, and that's one and a two and a three and a four and a. It'll be a little bit easier. It's not gonna be easy probably, but it's a little bit simpler. So try that at first, then move on to the paradiddle because it doesn't match up. It goes crazy. Um, so work on this. We're gonna put it together later. We're gonna do all this crazy stuff. Um, do your homework. Your homework. What am I talking about? Practice your drums. It's fun. Um, by the way, awesome shirt. Children of Bodom. Check them out. Revocation. Super cool guys. I saw them this weekend um, in Milwaukee. Those guys rule. My band, Fashion Mom. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. New music coming out. Um, you guys are going to dig it. We are coming out better and heavier than you have ever heard from this band, Fashion Bomb, before. I guarantee it. So look us up, fashionbomb.net, mattride.com. That dude's writing songs like crazy. We got shows coming up all around Chicago and the surrounding area. Um, did I plug enough stuff? My book, don't forget, I got a book and a DVD. Um, I have a mailing list. I have a brand new song coming out called Carrie that I uh, wrote with a partner back in high school and I did everything on my own, uh, guitar, bass, drums, vocals, everything there's a video coming out for that but join my email list uh to to get that song you get mp3 of that song that's almost finished a lot of stuff going on make sure you look me up on facebook twitter yahoo all that stuff justin lack drums i'll see you next time